Yo, so guys, it's DJ Hoops back in another video. Today, I'm gonna be reacting to a video by Hoops Reference. Um, this is 2021 NBA Mock Draft 2.0. Um, currently the lights are off, so um, hopefully you guys can see me. Um, good. Uh, so um, I know some guys from the 2021 draft class. Um, some prospects, so, um, we'll see what, um, we have today, um, so, the original videos, like, will be in the description, and we'll just check this out. Sure, the audio is all the way up. Basketball has been played, lots of different players are making a name for themselves at the college and international level, and because of this, it's time for this month's installment of the Mock Draft series we do here on this channel, where I post one Mock Draft every month leading up to the real thing. This is the second update of the Mock for this year, and since the last one there have been quite a few changes to the overall landscape, making for an interesting update. This is a good way to keep up with how the top prospects in the class are trending, as well as being able to match them up with potential team fits at the next level. As always, the order of the teams picking in this mock draft are based on the current NBA standings, so they're not just All randomly right. selected based on, in any Based off of the current though, standings. It turns out about 67% of you watching right now aren't even subscribed to the channel, so please, if you enjoy the content, consider hitting the subscribe button, as not only does it help out a ton, All very right. much appreciated. Now, with that being said, let's begin. Starting at the end of the lottery and working our way up to the highly coveted number right. one pick, the Memphis Grizzlies select Jaden Springer from Tennessee. Springer is an interesting Tennessee. prospect to monitor, and scouts seem to be at IMG. his NBA All potential, right. but he has, without question, been highly productive for Tennessee so far this year. He's still fairly young, being only 18 years old, but he's 18. been an efficient scorer, making 53% of his shots and 56% of his threes, albeit oh, I've seen him before. size so far, and in the pick. Yeah, he's, he's he cool. Off an advanced understanding of the game, ranking in the 97th percentile in these possessions in all of college. He lacks the convincing creation and ability to make separation that NBA teams tend to like from their guards, but he's still a strong talent nonetheless. Next up with the third Sharif Cooper, the, yeah. the Houston Rockets own the Thunder pick, and they select Sharif Cooper. That's a big addition. Auburn. Cooper was forced to miss most of the early part of the season due to eligibility issues, but since his debut for the team, he's been making what an he instant two impact, putting up some impressive production. In the three games he's played so far, he's averaging a highly impressive 22 points and 10 assists per game, demonstrating like a combo an incredibly guard. impressive ability to command the floor, make the right play, let the play develop around him, and appropriately decide whether to attack or give it up. Yeah, that's a nice song. he does need to improve upon is his overall Prospect. shot selection and perimeter shooting but again he just recently returned to the court and so far yeah we gotta see more way more good than bad yeah next up with the 12th pick in the draft the denver nuggets select Corey kispert from gonzaga Corey has been flying up draft boards recently because Corey really frankly, know he's been having a terrific season and has the kind of skill set that will always be useful in the nba Corey is pretty Where much the arguably the draft's best shooter making 49 percent shooter this year but most importantly is he's not just a shooter at a strong six foot seven height he six also foot seven. uses his size to his Small advantage board. off the dribble, and when he's forced off the three-point line, he gets into the paint and finishes incredibly strong and efficient. He's making about 60% of his shots this year and 70% of his two-point attempts, and seeing as he's averaging 21 points per game this season, it's clearly a big game. to All take right. seriously. Next up with the 11th pick in the draft, the Dacian New York Knicks select Knicks. Dacian Nix from the G League. Dacian Nix could prove to be one of the best overall floor generals at the point card position in this card. draft, and it's still looking um, like that scenario. Yeah, they need a point card still. His floor vision, pure um, needle, Tina, Rivers, or Hayden Smith aren't the offense. Your the G League season starts um, next month. We'll finally be able to point guard option, So yeah, that makes sense. And assess him from there, but. Based on what we've seen from him so far, he's a very talented young guard. 
Up next with the 10th pick, Moses the Moody. New Orleans Pelicans select Moses Moody from Arkansas. Moody falls into the 3 and D archetype of a player category three and as D. he has fantastic measurables as a strong yeah, they, 6 foot they need, 6 player with they need a shooting guard that, that uses can pester opponents and make plays on the defensive end with. Fair life is ultra filtered for 50% Got a double ad. and 50% less sugar. He's making about 40% of his threes as a good spot three. shooter, and what also impresses scouts is his promising off-ball movement as a slasher and cutter, using that size to finish strong at the basket and make plays without the ball in his hands for easy opportunities. He compares somewhat to players like Mikhail Bridges, DeAndre Hunter, and Devin Vassell from recent drafts, Kyle but Bridges, he could have even Andrew more Hunter, offensive Vassell, upside than all three of them. Next up with the ninth pick of the James draft, Book with the Hawks, select James Book Knight from UConn. UConn. Book Knight is another player that has shot up draft boards as the season has progressed because he's been one yeah, of the best players really in him. the nation to this point, and he has a pro. Comment down below if you want to see me um, react to some to college basketball highlights. The dribble. He's a very good finisher around the basket. He has a nice pull-up jumper in the mid-range and is a confident shooter from anywhere on the floor. There has been oh, that was kind of nice. Players looking for Trey Young to ease back on his offensive carrying ways and bringing in another scorer like this could help Trey transition into more of a playmaker that trusts those around him. Next up with the 8th pick in the draft, I've heard of Bulls, select Zaire Williams from Stanford. Williams admittedly got a good start to the season, but recently he's been looking much more comfortable out on the floor, and his production has improved as a result, which is exactly what you want from a top prospect like this. He recently put up a triple-double in a game, he's been much more reliable knocking down his shots, and at 6'8", he's been demonstrating his impressive ability to create a dribble and confidently pull up with good Good balance and shoot over defenders with his size and length. That ability to separate raises his ceiling as mm. a scorer, and it's why despite um, inconsistent season that he's having so far, not to be disrespectful like KD or goal. anything. Up next Ta the taller KD, I mean shorter. Thunder, own the Rockets pick Heard of Scotty Barnes too. Scotty Barnes from Florida State. Barnes is a jack of all yep. trades type of player as a forward who gives you a little bit of everything out on the floor on both ends. He's been compared to Draymond Green for several reasons. What's his face? Terrence Clark must be in the top five. He's a smart decision maker. He's incredibly strong, and he has a good Let's handle see. of the basketball. He currently leads his team in assists despite playing as a forward. He's comfortably shut down opponents on defense at several different positions, and his 7 foot 2 inch wingspan is highly impressive, which allows him to disrupt tons of plays. He projects as a highly impactful player in any rotation, and whether or not he has legit star potential doesn't really matter in this instance. Next up, funnily enough, Johnson, six, yeah. we once again have the Oklahoma City Thunder picking who owned the Miami Heat's pick, and with it, they select Jalen Johnson from Duke. That's a big um, addition, I think. They could get two great players in, has very good in the top that ten, bro. That, that's big for them. Someone to go with Shay, yeah. Forward position on both ends, and he uses his top tier athleticism, strength, and quickness to overwhelm him when he gets to the basket. He seems like a very well-rounded player that can impact both ends of the floor, and if his jumper starts to fall more consistently, his ceiling could be as high as anybody's. Next up with the fifth Jonathan pick of the Sacramento Kings, Jonathan Kuminga from the G League. Kuminga's another player who opted to play in the G League this year before the draft, and their season starts in February, so we will Every have to wait a bit before we get to see him in action. He is a strong, explosive combo forward with the tools and physical frame as good as anybody in the class, and his ball skills were trending upward when we last saw him on the court. He has the talent to push himself into the conversation to be at the very top of this draft draft, but we'll revisit that discussion when his season actually gets underway and we see him play again. Up next with the fourth pick in Jaylen the draft, Green's the Raptors. Raptors, select Jalen Green from the G League. Green yeah. is a guy that got the G League movement started as he was ranked the best yeah. recruit in the country by a few major Jaylen Green is and he bypassed college nice. first to go this route, leading to more players following suit afterwards. Yeah, he could Green do anything. Of the top three is by no means I don't want him in, on the Raptors, so I'll just tell you that. Oh my god. Him, all having incredible I've seen his mixtapes, bro. Year, while we haven't seen 
seen him play at all yet, but when he gets going, he's definitely going to put himself back in the mix at the very top of this class as one of, if not the best scorers and athletes available. Next up with the third yeah, pick, Sox. the Washington Wizards select Jalen Sox. So his top two, Kay Cunningham Sox must be number one. Absolutely on fire, and even two. though he's cooled down a little bit lately, I'm still a huge player? believer in his talent and the fact that he will translate to the NBA level. He's an incredible floor general who makes terrific Jalen passes Sox. and makes Heard life easier for those around him. He's one of the best downhill drivers in the whole class when he gets ahead of steam, who converts well around the rim, and he's a confident shooter from the outside. Plus, he competes hard on defense and should be one of the better perimeter defenders available as well. He was everything you want from a starting point guard in the NBA, which is why he's in my top three right now. Next up with the second pick in the draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves Mobley. select Evan Mobley from USC. There is a lot of talent at the top of this draft, so after the first pick, I think the Wolves will go with the player who fits their team the best, being Evan Mobley. Carl Anthony Towns has always worked best with a defensive anchor alongside him. The team yeah. just hasn't been able to find a permanent solution for that role yet, and with Mobley being the best defensive big man in the class, it's a perfect match. Forgot about him. A lot of bio in him, meaning that yeah. on top of being a rim protector, he can hold his own when switched out onto the perimeter, and offensively, he's very versatile and can be used in many different sequences, got the top inside pick. and out, once again to work to the needs of Carlin. And, and finally, yeah. with the number one Cade the Cunningham, yeah. Detroit Pistons, obviously. select Cade Cunningham from Oklahoma State. Oh, oh, I see Cunningham it. came into the season seen by most as the best player in the draft, and he's played up to that hype to still deserve that title. He's a six foot eight point guard with unbelievable basketball IQ. He can score from all three levels. He impacts the game in so many He's different great. ways just to top it all off. Because of Cunningham's size, he can fit into yeah. any lineup alongside other guards or wing players and defend positions one through four. So even though the Pistons just drafted Killian Hayes last year, it wouldn't stop them from pouncing yeah. the opportunity to add someone of Cunningham's talent level. And you don't know how um, being said, that's all I have Killian Hayes Make sure to look what he he's gonna bring to the table yet so he just got injured as well so we'll see how that goes um they definitely need some star power if you guys enjoyed that video i hope you did leave a like subscribe comment down below which you want me to react to next i'll catch you guys later till next time peace out